On June 8th, Wilderness Trail, the newest member of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, released their first six-year-old weeded bottled and bond bourbon to celebrate the trail's reopening. Before this release, Wilderness Trail has been touted as one of the best craft distilleries in Kentucky. But let's face it, these guys aren't craft anymore. They are coming of age, just like their bourbon. Shane Baker and his business partner, Dr. Patrick Heiss, began Firm Solutions in 2006, providing yeast and fermentation expertise to distilleries all over the world. They founded their own distillery, Wilderness Trail, in 2014, making only sweet mashed whiskey using fresh, dry yeast. Since that time, Wilderness Trail has crafted three expressions, including a weeded, single barrel, bottled and bond bourbon, a traditional rye recipe bottled and bond bourbon, and a cast strength rye whiskey, all coming in around four years old. What has made Wilderness Trail and their whiskey stand out has been their commitment to quality, innovation, and science. With years of yeast strains, data, and experience behind them, Shane Baker and Pat Heist have devised a process that precisely regulates cook temperatures to ensure energy conservation during mashing. This innovation, among others, led the Kentucky Association of Manufacturers to name Wilderness Trail as the Kentucky Manufacturer of the Year in 2016. Wilderness Trail is a chemical-free distillery, unusual in a business where clean equipment is of the utmost importance and chemicals are often necessary for sanitization. Now, the distillery's pharmaceutical-grade boilers employ a clean steam method during the mashing process. Any chemicals that go into the boilers would end up in the mash, explains Dr. Patrick Heist. The absence of chemicals yields a better-tasting distillate. Wilderness Trail also uses a sweet mash process as opposed to a sour mash. Uh, with sweet mashing, the yeast, grains, and water are consistent from batch to batch, unlike sour mash. The other highlights that they use include uniform grain, which means they source their grain from a single local seed farmer, uh, Caverndale Farms, for consistent flavors throughout their lineup. Like most distilleries, Wilderness Trail has been closed to guests since the onset of the pandemic, but as Bourbon County starts to reopen, Wilderness Trail will now allow curbside pickup for the limited edition whiskey. This marks the oldest bourbon yet from the Danville Distillery, created with the same 64% corn, 24% wheat, and 12% malted barley recipe used in their standard single barrel bourbon. The new release will also share the same 100 proof bottled and bond designation. Now, since this bourbon was produced in Wilderness Trail's early days, it was distilled on their first still, which was a 250 gallon Vendome hybrid pot still. Since then, they have expanded to continuous column stills have been added, allowing for a significant increase in production capacity. So as you saw in the close-up Wilderness Trail, six-year bottle and bond came packaged in a gold-lettered mahogany box set reading Family Reserve, complete with two shot glasses inside. The 100 sets were made available on June 8th for curbside pickup, and they sold out, and an additional 300 solo bottles were offered in the gift shop in the weeks following for about $75 each. So keep an eye out on the Wilderness Trail website for more availability of this special six-year-old release. So as you guys know that have watched my channel, I'm a huge fan of Wilderness Trail and what they're doing. Uh, I was able to have Dr. Pat Heist on for an interview. I'll leave the link above for you guys to check that out. Uh, totally brilliant. Really talked about the science and the and the what they do as far as yeast and fermentation, the sweet mashing process. It's really incredible operation. And now to have their six-year-old bourbon come of age, we're going to compare it to their four-year stuff see how different it uh, how different it really is so let's get into the nose here first man so the nose first off jumps out of the glass is apples and cherries and cinnamon get a lot of that right off the bat this definitely has more of an oaky presence than what I'm remembering from Wilderness Trail I think that extra couple years the six years old really made a big difference in the flavor profile here tons of vanilla Man, I can't get past that apple brown sugar note there, too. 
There's also kind of this raw cookie dough type scent that I'm getting. It's very sweet. I've gotten it in a couple of their single barrel picks. This kind of unique, delicious cookie dough note and definitely picking it up in here a little bit, but it's a little bit darker. Not too much alcohol on the nose. It's just very sweet, very inviting. All right, let's go for a sip. Let's try the six here. Mm, yeah, so when you taste Wilderness Trail, the one thing I always say, the flavors really jump out. They're very clean. There's nothing kind of muddying up the waters here. Again, more of that apple, the vanilla coming on the, on the, uh, the front of the palate there. Get a little bit of like spiced honey characteristic on the palate. Again, some of that sweet, like cookie dough, vanilla, little bit of caramel flavor there too. Very good on the first sip. I really like the uh, that mix of honey and spice and sweetness there. Let's go for another sip. I, mean, I just picked up like a, a tad bit of a chocolate note there. Maybe we're talking getting into like chocolate chip cookies <laughs> rather than just cookie dough. Like maybe there's some chocolate chip cookies in there too. Man, maybe drizzle with honey there. Man, on the back end, you definitely, this is the oak presence here. The sweet oak presence is really prevalent to what I'm used to with Wilderness Trail. You know, the regular releases like you see here have been very sweet. Um, you get a little bit of oak, but mainly it's a lot of that sweetness, a lot of the grain coming through, especially on a four year bourbon. This is starting to all kind of round together now. That extra two years, that six years in the barrel, really starting to now balance out really beautifully. Let's go for another sip. Yeah, cinnamon, honey, vanilla, chocolate chip cookie dough, definitely some oak. Love the cinnamon spice I'm getting here on the back end. The oak definitely provides this nice little peppery spice on the back end that you get. Lingers a little bit here. The 100 proof is not overpowering at all. It's just, it's just as where you would think 100 proof whiskey, 100 proof bourbon should kind of sit on the back of the palate. Definitely lingers for a little bit. I would say this is more of a medium finish. Definitely has a nice finish to it. A little bit spicy. Let's go for one last sip on this one. Cheers. Mm. All right, so front of the palate here, still getting those notes, the apple, the cherry, the cinnamon up front, a little bit of a tingliness you get right on the front of the palate. As soon as it goes mid palate, um, now, the, now the vanilla, the oak, like I said, a little bit of that chocolate chip cookie dough type flavor kind of kicks in. And then once it hits the back of the palate, then you're starting to get a little bit more of that six year old age a little bit. You're getting a little bit more oak, a little bit more of that, um, that spice, the oak tannins there, barrel char, Maybe the slightest, slightest hint of, uh, of smoke. It's mainly sweet. It's, it's very, very well balanced. Just an amazing release. I mean, this, this is Wilderness Trail at six years old. I mean, God, seven, eight years old. This stuff is just gonna be incredibly special. All right, so let's do a quick comparison of the Wilderness Trail bottled and bond weeded bourbon. That's a little bit over four years old compared to the six year and see what the differences are here. Let's see how, how it's really come of age, so. Man, when you compare the noses, there is a noticeable difference here. The, the six is just a little bit deeper, a little bit richer when it comes to the, uh, the, the flavors coming out of the glass. The four year is still very sweet. Uh, it definitely has a little bit of the graininess character to it. You can definitely smell the corn. You can smell that wheat. You can definitely get some of the, that apple, the cinnamon that's, that's in this glass. Again, a little bit more of that, that cookie dough note that I've been getting with Wilderness Trail, especially in this, uh, this single barrel. Uh, but when you compare it to the six year, yeah, the, the richer brown sugars and the oak just balance out that sweetness just so, so well. Let's go for a sip of the uh, four year here. Yeah, that four year is really good. It's very fruity. This, now, the four years here happen to be single barrels. The six year is not a single barrel, uh, but the four year as it comes through, it's very fruity, get a lot of that apple, a little bit of that cookie dough note that I was getting on there too. But the, the fruit characteristic, cherry, apple, a little bit of peach note coming through on this single barrel in particular. But it's all sweet, it's all fruit, not a ton of oak to balance it out and spice. That's where the six year comes in a little bit here. Yeah, now the six year has all that sweetness, all that fruit, a little bit more oak to balance it out. 
I mean, the four years are really good. You know, even the ones that are a little bit older now, coming in four years, five months, four years, six months, uh, almost five years old, but definitely that fruit characteristic, really sweet, really delicious, really easy to sip. But now as we get into this other realm here, six, seven, eight years old, what Wilderness Trail is doing, when you get those oak flavor notes and you get that, that spice and those oak tannins, and pulling more flavors from the barrel to balance out that sweetness that they got going on in their, uh, with their, from their yeast strains and their mash bill. Let's go for one last step of the six year here. Man, everything just coming together here. The sweet, the spice, the barrel notes, the brown sugars, a little bit of that cookie dough note. Now we're getting a little chocolate, whereas this might have been just raw, plain cookie dough. Now we're getting some chocolate chip cookie dough in this one, if that makes sense. Just some deeper, richer flavors here out of the six year. Not super rich, I mean, I don't think it's there yet, but as this thing starts to make its way up the, uh, the age line here, we get to seven, eight, nine years. Wilderness Trail is the, the bourbon and the whiskey that they're gonna be producing. Coming out of that distillery is just gonna be absolutely amazing. All right guys, so as I mentioned, this is $75 per bottle. It is a limited release, so availability is very tough to get right now. Uh, they are putting more of these out as time goes on. If you're close to Danville, Kentucky, or you ever take a trip down to Louisville, curbside pickup is available for one of these, but you have to keep an eye out on when they become more available. Um, if you're a Wilderness Trail fan, I highly recommend it because I think tasting the evolution from the four year to the six year, you'll definitely see a big difference. Um, if you can't get down there or if you won't really have a means of picking one up, uh, definitely keep an eye on the shelf as these Wilderness Trail releases become a little bit older. I think you'll be extremely surprised at, at, at to where the quality is going, as to where the flavor profile is going. As more of this stuff comes of age and starts actually appearing on the shelf, so instead of the four year, it starts getting replaced by the six year juice, I think it's going to be one of the best buys on the shelf. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this review for the Wilderness Trail six-year special release bourbon on the Mash and Drum. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you were lucky enough to get one of these, what you think of it, if you've compared it to the four-year, did you notice those differences? And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'll see you next time on the Mash and Drum. Take care, everybody.